I was trying to do, I was going to, look, the sweater guys are back, everybody. Uh, look, they're, they're, hi, these are the sweater guys. They turn up, they wear matching sweaters because they're crazy. <laughs> sweater guys, and they're, they're, they got, look, 1081. That's a really awesome piece of work you've done. <laughs> Look at that, that's like, take that, Martha Stewart, you prison bitch. Look at that. Uh, say hi to Jeff Peterson on the way by. Yeah, yeah. It's, the sweater guys are, uh, you know, they turn up at the show from time to time and they wear the same sweaters, so that'll put them on TV. I have no idea why they would want to be on this show, but... Uh, <laughs> But they do. And I had to, you know, put them on tonight, which is a bit of a problem for me, because tonight, Sonia, the sexy photographer, is here. <laughs> I talk like this because she won't hear me if I do this with my hand. <laughs> hey, Sonia. <laughs> Why, you can't take a camera angle like that. She looks enormous. <laughs> Sonia, the 450-foot-tall, sexy photographer is here. Sonia, can you come out a second, please? Uh, do you mind? Just, I just want to... Uh, could you take a photograph of uh, Michael over there? There you are. There you are. Would you mind? Thanks. No. Just so that people... There you go. That's fine. Thanks. Thanks, Sonia. Isn't she attractive? Wait, no, don't... Don't applaud. You don't, don't applaud, just kind of go like that. <laughs> if you applaud, it's like a strip club. <laughs> Whoa, you're attractive. Thank you. <laughs> Apparently, I've never been to a strip club. <laughs> I have not. <laughs> I have. <laughs> the sweater guys made me go. They ran away in fright when they saw the 450-foot photographer. <laughs> well, uh, anyway, I got a new haircut, so look at that. Check that out. Hey, whoa, don't applaud. <laughs> oh, you didn't. Good. <laughs> it's going to be a great show tonight. We've got all to talk about. <laughs> we'll be right back, everybody. everybody please sit down relax let it all go that's right oh it's awesome i really believed that there it was really convincing you really sounded like really sounded like real people and not hired help <laughs> we wander the streets of los angeles we go to the dumpsters <laughs> whoever's sleeping there we take them out and we put them into the studio audience. <laughs> Give them little pieces of candy, the promise of maybe some chicken later. <laughs> and all they have to do is pretend to find me entertaining. <laughs> How about you, fancy some chicken? Do you mean that in a kind of sexual way? You bet I do, girl! <laughs> hey, guess what? What? I'll tell you. It's a great day for America, everybody. Yes, it is. It is! I'll tell you 
tweet why. Uh, it's a great day for America because I've got a new haircut. Thank you very much indeed. You didn't notice, you bastard. You might have said something. Oh, Craig, you've got a new haircut. Not just, oh, when do we get our ticket? I think every time I get a new haircut, I look surprised. I'm like, oh. But I am surprised, and here's why. <laughs> I was trying to do some kind of TV thing, you know, when I talk about one thing and then it segues into another thing, like a regular TV show. <laughs> anyway, it's a great day for America, but it's not a great day for uh, one American institution, uh, Hugh Hefner. Here's the news about Hugh, then. <laughs> His, uh, his ex-girlfriend, Kendra Wilkinson, says, she says she has a sex tape, which is an hour long. I'm like, ah. <laughs> a sex tape with Hugh Hefner? I don't, I don't want to see it. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> Do you really want to see that? <laughs> Apparently, though, it's an hour long, but the first 45 minutes is just her helping him into the bed. Uh, <laughs> And then the last 10 minutes is just him having his cocoa. So it's just five minutes. Five minutes when you're like, ah! Anyway, happy Cinco de Mayo, everybody. If you don't know, if you don't know what that means, you're a little out of touch, or maybe you're the governor of Arizona. Cinco! Cinco de Mayo. Please, let's not get into all that. What the hell? Anyway, Cinco, Cinco de Mayo is Spanish for the 5th of May. And I know this because I'm an expert in the Spanish language. I studied it here, right on the show. For months, we had Spanish words of the day every night, and here's everything I learned. Mi hongo es peludo. <laughs> which, uh, which, if you don't speak Spanish, means my mushroom is hairy. It sounds like it doesn't make sense, but it gets me in the door at certain clubs in town. <laughs> Call me Ramon. Anyway, they, uh, some people think Cinco de Mayo is Mexican Independence Day, and I call these people gringos. Mexican... <laughs> no, Mexican Independence Day, this is September. Cinco de Mayo is the day when we celebrate the Battle of Puebla. That's when the Mexican army defeated the much bigger French army. It's the classic underdog story, David versus Goliath. Uh, Goliath? <laughs> Goliath. <laughs> Red Goliath, he was a giant, wasn't he? Yeah. He over four feet tall. <laughs> Which back in them days was a giant. David himself was a tiny little... <laughs> David versus Goliath, that's the underdog story, and uh, Rosie versus Trump, that was the other one. <laughs> or, as we called it at the time, lesbian versus predator. <laughs> anyway, Cinco de Mayo is a big holiday here in Los Angeles. I can't think why. <laughs> Maybe it's because California was once part of Mexico. In fact, most of the southern U.S. was a part of Mexico, even Arizona. <laughs> Don't tell them that. They're a bit touchy about it. <laughs> anyway, I think uh, Cinco de Mayo is bigger in America than it is in Mexico. It's like St. Patrick's Day in Ireland. No one in Ireland gives a rat's ass at St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> they don't. They just drink anyway because it's a day, you know. It's like, what day is it today? It's Monday. Oh, well, cheers, hey. Tomorrow's Tuesday. That's a big drinking day because it's Wednesday Eve. Hi, diddly day. <laughs> Greg, you're reinforcing a national stereotype. Yes, I am. <laughs> Anyway, I don't drink anymore. I celebrate Cinco de Mayo now with uh, food. I love Mexican food, or as it's known in Mexico, food. <laughs> Man, you really want chicken tonight, don't you? <laughs> anyway, no, the Mexican food, sometimes it's very spicy. Here in, uh, in L.A., you can tell when someone's eating the hot Mexican food because they start sweating Botox. <laughs> One of my favorite Mexican foods is probably chocolate. Do you know that? Yeah, it's that kind of Mexican food. In the 14th century, the Aztecs of central Mexico mixed chocolate with spices in a drink. And then when the Europeans uh, came in or invaded, they'd never seen chocolate before. They were like, Zutala, what is this? <laughs> or something like that. Or maybe, uh, Ay caramba, chocolate. And, 
anyway, they basically stole the recipe. Uh, and the European army that stole the chocolate recipe was called the Toblerones. And they, they did. And they wiped out the Aztecs using their big triangular shaped chocolate. <laughs> That's not true, but if it is true, it would be delicious. Anyway, the, what is true that Mexico is responsible for giving us chocolate and one of Mexico's fastest growing exports right now, not just chocolate, prescription drugs. <laughs> chocolate and prescription drugs. That's what comes out of Mexico. I can't believe Rush Limbaugh wants to build a fence over the border. You'd think, you'd think he'd want a bridge or a car and he could just shoot himself right over that. Chocolate and Oxycontin. the commercials now, isn't it? I can tell by that look in your face. Those dollar signs in your eyes, you bastard. <laughs> What's up, Jeff? You having a good night? Sexy time. Meow. <laughs> you been drinking, Jeff? Uh oh Yeah, that's what I thought. Nothing worse than a drunk skeleton on Cinco de Mayo. <laughs> When's the day of the dead? That's usually your big day, isn't it? Oh, boy. You know, you've got to watch it with Jeff. He's very touchy. He goes in a huff with the slightest provocation. Yep, see what I mean? All right, we're going to take a commercial break. When we come back, I'm going to be naked. night is do the whole show like that old Bob Dylan video, you know, where he just, he did all the things, he just threw the words away, that'd be awesome, but we can't afford that. I got a map. Cardboard, can't <laughs> Sorry for cussing, I've really been trying not to cuss on the show recently, but what happens is, is I try not to cuss, and then I think about it, and then I think, why should I not cuss? And then I remember, because uh, I'll get fired. <laughs> and then I think, fired? Late night talk show host? 30 million bucks? I'll do it. <laughs> That's not what you get for being fired from here. <laughs> That's getting fired from a real show. Getting fired from here, you probably have to give them about 40 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, look at me scratching my new haircut. Look at that, yeah. One of the great thing about getting your haircut nice and short is that when you go to scratch it, your hair, your fingers don't go in deep into hair. <laughs> I've been trying to start this rumour about Dr. Phil. <laughs> it's not true, but let's just say it, right? Like, let's from now on just, everybody say this. He's not really bald. <laughs> He's not really bald. He's not. And when he says, I am, just go, no, Dr. Phil, we know you're not really bald. <laughs> you shave your head to try and look bald to, you know, to impress Oprah. <laughs> But this guy ain't buying it, hairy Dr. Phil. This makes no sense at all. Anyway, happy Cinco de Mayo, everybody. It's a proud day for the Mexican-Americans. You see, that's one of the great things about living in this country with a diverse population. Every ethnic group's got their own holiday. You get your uh, Cinco de Mayo for uh, Mexican-Americans, Italian-Americans have got Columbus Day, Polish-Americans have got Polatsky Day, which is not to be confused with Polanski Day. <laughs> Polanski Day is uh, very different. It actually falls on the 13th, but then you drug it and then you act like it's the 18th. <laughs> so that's probably what you do then. I've got a feeling I just get into more trouble than I did with a cousin. <laughs> I keep expecting to get into trouble, and I don't get into trouble here at CBS. And you know what? This tells me one thing. They're not uh -oh. watching the show. <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> Which 
which gives me a strange sense of liberation. Because whenever I bump into a CBS executive, they're like, who are you? And I'm like, oh, no, I am the guy. I'm on After Dave. And they're like, oh, yeah, the show's doing great. And I'm like, really? What bit do you like? That bit where you talk to that actress. <laughs> really? Yeah, that, that was your favorite bit. How about the robot skeleton? Oh, you. <laughs> It's time for a commercial break, isn't it? Again? There seems to be a lot of commercials recently. What's that? Capitalism? Yeah. <laughs> we'll be right back, though, with emails and tweets. commercial break. You shouldn't have been wasting your time watching commercials for excellent products. You should have been here. <laughs> we were going nuts dancing around to La Bamba, but we can't dance around to it now because CBS won't pay for us to have La Bamba on the show. But trust me, it was awesome. It was the best Cinco de Mayo ever. <laughs> time is it, Jeff? Tweets and emails are up next. <laughs> Even try and get the sound to come out at the same time as when your jaws moving. <laughs> oh, yeah, all right, all right, all right, all right, play the jingle. That's it, I've peaked, I'm done now. <laughs> All right, look, tweets and emails. Here's a tweet from uh, Vicky in Pittsburgh uh, who says, Craig, my sister is graduating from college on Saturday. How should I help her celebrate? Tequila! <laughs> Drink responsibly, CBS cares. <laughs> For legal reasons. Uh, all right, this is from Haley in Los Angeles. Uh, that's, that's Haley there, lovely girl. Uh, she says, Craig, I got a parking ticket while I was picking up my boss's lunch. Who pays? You. Sooner or later, you pay, because even if you get your boss to pay the parking ticket, you know, when it comes up to annual review, he'll be like, oh, yeah, remember you uh, that parking ticket? Uh, mm, yeah, your future of the company, we don't know. Uh, yeah. Here's $30 million, you're fired. Uh, one day, man, one day. Um, this is from Mariel in uh, Simi in California, Simi Valley. Uh, Tomorrow starts off Nurses Week, May the 6th through the 12th. Can we get a shout out to all the nurses? Hola. <laughs> Hola, nurses. Um, all right. This is from Corey in Vancouver. Uh, Craig, if a 21 year old man went to Disneyland alone, would he be considered a creep? <laughs> But let me tell you, when a 47-year-old man goes, he's considered fodder for To Catch a Predator on NBC. <laughs> I, I think you've got to find someone to go with. I think it's, uh, yeah, try and take a friend. <laughs> or dress up as Mickey Mouse. Uh, this is from uh, Karen in Livonia in Michigan. Uh, Karen says, uh, Craig, my husband and I are expecting our first child and cannot agree on a boy's name. What name would you suggest? Well, he, the thing to do is to get a name which can be both a boy's and a girl's name, and then that way you don't have to worry about it. I would suggest Susan. <laughs> I guess you're expecting a boy. You can't agree on a boy's name, then a girl's name. That's the way to go, isn't it? <laughs> boy named Sue. Grow up tough, grow up mean, you know. 
Gatlinburg, mid-July, kicking in the gouging in the mud and the blood and the beer. I think you know where I'm going. <laughs> I think we better take a commercial break. <laughs> we'll be right back with Scarlett Johansson, everybody. <laughs> Whoa. Sorry, everybody. My tie, I just noticed on the monitor my tie was separated. What must you think? <laughs> You must think, Craig, your tie separated. It's almost as if you didn't care. Well, I do care, ladies and gentlemen. I do. And so does CBS. <laughs> so go and get some kind of invasive exam soon. <laughs> Have you seen these things? I'm like, are you kidding me? I mean, you know, it's important for health and everything, but... Anyway, my uh, first guest tonight is a proper movie star. She stars in Iron Man 2, which is in theatres on May the 7th. I'm very excited about this. I really like the Iron Man film. Um, well, the last one. I haven't seen this one, so... <laughs> but I'll pretend I have, yeah. But I haven't seen it. Here's a clip of it, though. dress and your thank hair you. all over on us. Why, thank you. Thank you very much. It's just for you. Is it really? I it don't is. think so. No, no, I just came from a dinner, actually. You did? No, not at you all. You have dinner at this time of night, 12.30 in some regions? <laughs> you know, I'm from New York. What really? can I say? Do you eat? Why, why are you looking at my hair? You're no. looking exactly... It's, I just got a haircut. You're freaking me I out. I know, I know. I feel like there's a piece that's a little bit long, though. Well, let's get some scissors. Like right here. Where? It's, I don't know. This piece is kind of... Oh, no, maybe it's just not... Oh, that's my eyebrow. Oh, sorry. No. <laughs> It smells fantastic, though. I can really? Smell, yeah, it does. It's very tropical. Yeah, that's me. Yeah, tropical. <laughs> I am. I love to rub myself in mangoes. Par well, par I do. You too. Yeah, do you rub yourself with mangoes? Well, I... Yeah, yes, yes. Yeah! Exactly. <laughs> I do, yeah. I like this. I, I, I like the look of this film. Yeah, uh, thank you, thank you, you know, very much. They, I like the. Are you? Do you play karate woman? Um, I, I play. A, I play a hand-to-hand -hand combat. Uh, a master of hand-to-hand -hand combat. Yes. Really? So yes, like a karate woman. Is that is that her name? Karate that, yes, woman. Something then? like that. What yes. is it? Karate. <laughs> There's woman? a Mr. Miyagi and everything. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, her name is. Mango Ga on, mango <laughs> off, mango <laughs> on, mango <laughs> off. Is that how you do it? Yeah, yeah, mango <laughs> on, mango <laughs> off. It's, uh, uh, what, am, what are we talking about? Uh, uh, Black Widow. Black Widow. Her name is Black, Black Widow. Black Widow? Yes, yes. Do you have spider powers? What are spider powers? Um, you can do eight things at the same time. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> in my actual life, I can, have. Can you, really? <laughs> yes, yes. Um, I, multi I can multitask. Um, no, uh, it's, uh, it, it, she's, you know, she, as I said, she's a hand-to-hand -hand combat master and she's you know an operative and a secret agent and eight, all that stuff. eight things at once exactly too. and she carries mace that too yeah, yes yeah. that's the old standby mace do you carry mace I, I should i tell you if i'm carrying it i thought that was you might need some <laughs> well with the well, way jeff, that jeff is very attractive to you is he yeah the, yeah for you oh you look at hold me <laughs> He's a Peterson? Yeah, he's Peterson. So he's, is, is he Scandinavian? Scandinavian descent, yes. Well, where is he from, exactly? Uh, I think Denmark, I'm not sure. You've really? got scarlet, the putin, blutin, tootin, blutin. Yeah, I, <laughs> <laughs> I had no idea you could do that. 
<laughs> that's, uh, I think that's uh, Swedish. Oh, well, that's what it sounded like. Do you speak Swedish? Uh, no, I'm Danish, actually. Ah, right. Like bacon. <laughs> yes, like bacon. A lot of... Um, <laughs> no, do you like bacon? Oh, I, was, <laughs> I was just asking. Oh. I, I thought, oh, must ask her if she likes bacon. I thought bacon. you were saying Danish like bacon. Yeah, Danish. Uh, Danish do like bacon, actually. They My love father it. loves it. Yeah. Um, no, uh, yes, I like bacon. Oh, good. <laughs> I like bacon when it's extra crispy. I don't like it when... I don't like that kind of... that European bacon. What's that all about, that kind of weird... No, yeah, I think you're... Uh, isn't your husband Canadian? I don't like Canadian bacon. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> but no, you don't I, like the... I was gonna go someplace awful, but I won't. No, no, do, do. <laughs> That's what we do um, here. <laughs> yes, I've heard. Yeah. Um, no, I, uh, I, I, I don't like, uh, I don't like the European style bacon. You know what kind of bacon I'm talking about? Well, I have been to Europe in my life, yes. <laughs> I don't. I think it's much the same as American bacon. No, it's, it's more. It's more. It's thick and it's sort of like a like a like a pancetta or something. Is it kind of fatty? Or am I thinking of Canadian bacon? Uh, I think you're thinking of Canadian bacon. No, my I, friend is out here and he's Canadian. I don't know where he is exactly, but he he's could not one tell of the sweater me. Oh, guys, is it? What is Canadian bacon? It's like a ham, right? Canadian bacon doesn't have any fat in it. Hey, 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 hey! Whoa. <laughs> Let's see your work permit before you start talking on this show. <laughs> <laughs> he wants it's, to be kept under the D, you know, these it, kind of, they always snuck him over the border, actually. No, no, it's all right. You're, you're um, good. It's not Arizona, California, we're chill. <laughs> uh, yeah, a Canadian bacon has no fat, so then it's the European bacon I'm thinking about that's really fatty. No, 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 I, I don't know. I, I'm not a bacon expert, but I do know a bit about spiders. That's a smooth transition you made right there. No, no, I'm just telling you, I don't want to talk about spiders. That's, I'm done talking about spiders. I just wanted to let you know. You just wanted to talk about bacon. No, I don't. Um, what, about, what about spiders? You know what a lot about... What about Kierkegaard? He was Danish, wasn't he? <laughs> Sounds like it, sure. No, Kierkegaard, the Christian philosopher, he was, he was Danish. Oh, I don't know much about Christian philosophy. Yeah, probably best. <laughs> But you can get in trouble talking about religion on TV. I'm sure, but not at this hour, probably. No, no, nobody's watching here. <laughs> not even CBS. Apparently so. No, no, it's just uh, some people on YouTube. Is that? <laughs> Do you ever go on YouTube and, and Google yourself? Um, I have. I, but you, you put up your name and like videos come up and that kind of thing. I have, right. yeah. Actually, there's one of me um, he's eating outside of a nightclub. I can say that now, right? It's past that time. <laughs> <laughs> it's not past that time on network, maybe on cable, but But on is... YouTube, who cares? Yeah, you're right, actually, that's true. Um, uh, but it, and actually, was it, it, was a, it, was a, it was my sister-in-law who was coming out of a nightclub with a jacket over her head, and I think that's the first thing that comes up on YouTube when, now, you, when you put why my... why would she be coming out of a nightclub with a jacket on her head? Why would she? I don't know. You were there, clearly. I was, but I, 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 I don't know. It was very early in the morning, and I, I don't know why I she was see. coming. I see. Tequila involved here? Is this the Cinco de Mayo thing? Yeah, well, I thought I would throw it in as part of the theme, but do you have an alcohol problem? <laughs> not, not currently, no. No, no. <laughs> You never know in this town, I guess. Yeah, no, that's but, true. Uh, but, uh, no, I, I don't have it. I have no, I have no addictions right now. None, no. <laughs> you kind of let the side down a bit, really. I mean, <laughs> you, you should try and get something going on. I know, know. it would make me much more interesting. Yeah, no, no, it's fine. You're, you're good, oh. really. <laughs> what could I, what, maybe, uh, what could I be addicted to that wasn't... Bacon. Oh, right. <laughs> okay. I'm thinking. We have to uh, take a commercial break from time to time. What are we selling? I don't know. What are we selling tonight? Good stuff. Good stuff. <laughs> you're such a hooker. <laughs> It's the same crap, you know, uh, <laughs> cars and exercise equipment would be my guess. Fantastic. Yeah, yeah. At this hour as well. Oh, exercise yeah. equipment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People love to buy exercise equipment when they watch TV. Well, it's what happens is it, when you watch TV late at night and you're drunk or eating and you go, tomorrow I'm going to work out and, <laughs> and I'm going to need the, what is the thing we exercise? The vacuum cleaner with the proper amount of suction. <laughs> Oh, you haven't seen that? What? Oh, have you ever seen the Dyson? The, vac the English oh, I guy? Have, yeah, I have yeah. that Dyson. You have one? I do have one. It's You're amazing. You're such a celebrity. I, <laughs> I bought it on late night TV. That's you did? What, yes, I did, actually. No, it has, because I, I like it when the guy says, has your vacuum cleaner got the proper amount of suction? <laughs> I'm like, I'm so saucy. Oh. <laughs> well, we have to take a uh, break. But will you come back after the break? Uh, sure, I'll be here. And so will I. <laughs> we'll be right back, everybody. We'll be right back.
on air then. And then, oh, I'm sorry? No, that's all right. Just in case I'll you say anything indiscreet about yeah. everybody. What is, I mean, what's going on? We're back. You know, oh, hi. Right. We're back. Remember the reason why that you came? Oh, that's right. Yes. That's right. That's yeah. right. That's right. Yeah. Um, I, so uh, you were at the White House Correspondents Center? I was at the White House Correspondents Center, and, uh, and Obama was hilarious, actually. He really, like... He, 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 we were all, we were all drank the Kool-Aid, we were sold, it was amazing. Well, do you think that he has a future in, uh... <laughs> Oh wait, that sounded terrible. <laughs> no, we were thrilled, we were thrilled, it was amazing to be there, honestly, it really was. We have got, clean that up. You think that got you out of it, just doing that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right, Jeff. If only I had the Dyson to just oh, suck Oh, yeah, that just away. suck out your problems. Yeah. yeah, no, that's good. <laughs> it's only got one ball, that vacuum cleaner. <laughs> what? <laughs> what, do you, what would you need two for, exactly? In case he wanted to vacuum around corners or oh, something. Okay. Is no. that what they call it these days? <laughs> um, <laughs> sorry. No, I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> no, I, so you went to the White House Court. I, I did the, I spoke at that a couple of years ago. Yes, I heard, I heard, yeah. did you, and you, it, it was a hard, it was a hard game. You heard I bombed? I didn't bomb. No, I didn't hear right. that you bombed. You, I was, you I didn't, kind of implied it right there. I though. was not. I was not. I was merely saying that it, it's a rough, it's a rough show. It's a rough gig. I'm sure you got a lot of people out there that are, that are, that are rooting against you. <laughs> I should help you, but yet I'm not going to. <laughs> Yes, I did. <laughs> Thanks for noticing. Oh, I've forgotten all about our problems. It's almost as if you are a vacuum cleaner and you just sucked away all our problems and replaced it with hair compliments. <laughs> that is, in fact, exactly what I did. Yeah, I know. Yeah. It's true. Yeah, your hair looks nice. Thank you very much. Thank yeah. you. Is it all your own? Uh, yes, it is, actually. Yeah. I grew it out of my very own head. Do you ever wear uh, wigs and walk around and pretend to be a hobo? No, I actually have never done that. I don't know if a wig would totally sell it. I feel like you need other, like, garments and sort of some... You need, like, a stray animal and some, stuff like that. Do you, you have any, do you have any pets? I do. I have two dogs. I have a little one and a, a bigger one. Oh, nice. Yes. <laughs> they're lovely. Oh, that's weird. Yeah. <laughs> yes, they're very sweet. They're very sweet. Where did you get them? Uh, I got one from a lady who was a... a, a my mom used to see this, this hairdresser and uh, she had this five-week-old chihuahua, and she didn't want it, and so it's I... It's a chihuahua? Yeah, it's a little one. And it's Cinco de Mayo. Oh, yes! Oh, no. I should have brought her on. You should have. Well, you could... Maybe you could pretend it's here, because it's a tiny little dog, a chihuahua. Like, right here. Yeah. Um... And what's the other dog? Uh, the other one is like a large kind of golden retrievery type of dog. And I got him at a, at a um, SPCA in Houston. And he's like, oh, I'm still nice. holding her. What am I no, doing? That's all oh right. my God. That's I crazy. think it's good. Um, I think it showed very good acting skills. <laughs> thank you, you committed. Oh, by the way, congratulations. Oh, you got nominated for a Tony. Thank you. That's thank you very great. much. Yeah. That is well done. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, yes, it, I, that whole, it, it, it's, I'm, I'm totally, I know most self-deprecating people say things like I never in a million years expected that but I I really never in a million years expected that it was, it was well you must have had an inkling when you were on a show on Broadway you must have thought here's a chance I I mean I'm sort of I, it was my debut what is that all there no I was I don't was, know why they're giggling I think they're nervous <laughs> no it was my it was my my uh, my first play on Broadway and and uh I was just kind of, I, you're in it, you're so deeply in it that you just, I, I don't know, to have that kind of foresight is, I was just happy that to be able to make it to the show every night and, Why, you know, that not, a, not adopt one problem? of these addictions. Yeah. Yes, I was going to say. Like, oh, more bacon. You've had enough bacon, Johansson. Get out and do that show. No, more bacon. <laughs> God forbid. No, it won't happen. No, it no, won't no. Happen. Um, but uh, you know, it was. It, it's yeah, it's great. It's hey, I was just wondering, uh, given that you've been nominated for a Tony, yes, and uh, we're kind of running out of time. I wondered. Sometimes we do awkward pauses here, but only with the best actors. Okay. It's kind of our Tony Award, if you will. Okay. I wondered if you'd like to do an awkward pause with. Me. Um, sure. I, what What does it entail exactly? Just well, the pause or the just awkwardness? Just awkward. An awkward pause. Okay. And so are you going to say end starting now, or just it's just going to happen? Would you like me to say as it starting now, or are you want to just uh, wander into it? <laughs> yes, I see.
I have to stop the awkward oh, pause. God. Yeah. Thank you. I just, do you have a tattoo there? I do. I have a tattoo right there. I didn't there. know you had it. May I see it? Yeah, sure, sure. Oh, that's course. lovely. I've never nice. seen one so bright. Do you oh, mind showing you. it? Yeah, there, there it is, right there. It's, is it a real one or just like a put it on? It is. It's very, it's real. It's there. Yeah, I've been there for years. I've never seen a tattoo so bright. Look at my what? tattoo. It's so dowdy next to your tattoo. Oh, oh, what is that? Is that? A, what it's is a it? snake. It goes all the way up round and. On where? <laughs> and where does it end? Oh, it, uh, it, 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 no, do you know this? Have, do you, are you familiar with this cartoon? Uh, those, those are snakes. Fates. They're those bits are of a snake. Snakes and, and, and these are states. And it's a union. It's a, so, it so was done by Benjamin Franklin in 1754. It's the first... No, not the actual tattoo. <laughs> no, it was in the Pennsylvania Gazette. It's the first uh, representation ever of uh, the British colonies that would eventually form the United States. I had no idea that Benjamin Franklin was like a doodle. Oh, he was like, uh, he was like Matt Groening. Wow! <laughs> Unbelievable. Yeah, yeah. Unbelie did. Well, that's, you're very patriotic. Much, I am, yeah. Much more so than, than most. you? No, I'm incredibly patriotic. Really? After that Kool-Aid comment, it all no, went out the window. No, oh right. my God. You're no, right. I am. I'm very patriotic. I love, I love, I love the United States of America. You do? <laughs> that's <laughs> controversial, Scarlett. What the hell are you saying? Hey, we should get out of here, really. Honestly, we're done. We'll get out of the U.S. of A. No, no, not oh, get out of the U.S. Right we have now. to get out of this. We're. We, I, uh, was it getting too bizarre? Uh, no, no, it's fine for me. But I keep forgetting that there's commercial breaks and other. Oh, there's things to sell. There's things to sell for sure. There's well, things to and sell. you know, there's uh, you know a time allotted. Do we get an hour every night, and then that's. And then we have to go. Yeah. But you can come back if you want. I would love to come back. Would you like to come I would back? absolutely You're love to come back. Time. Oh, you can bring your Canadian friend. Yes, you like. I will yeah. for sure. Yeah. There he is. Yeah. In fact, I would, you, would you like to come down and sit here for the very end of the show? I think you probably should. You're, you are, you are from, you're not from Canada. No, I am. Yeah. Oh, okay, here we know. I, <laughs> and I like, you're still invited. <laughs> no, I like to bring a Canadian with me wherever I, I go. I always bring yeah. a Canadian. You never know when you're going to need one. Yeah. <laughs> It's true. <laughs> All right, well, well, we'll go, and then we'll come back, and we'll say goodnight, featuring a Canadian. <laughs> yeah, we'll bring him down. What did we learn on the show tonight, Greg? <laughs> That's why I do this. Just... Yeah, I know, I do need it up there. Oh, we're back. Oh, um, sorry. My apologies to uh, Seth MacFarlane here. We'll have him back on the show very soon. I'm sure I'll pay the price for this. Uh, and uh, Scarlett, would you care to introduce, introduce us to your Canadian? Yes, this is my Canadian. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, he's one of my Canadians. How I many others. do you have? Uh, uh, I have at least one other Canadian, right. for sure. But this is, this is one Canadian I have. And then we keep a couple at the house, just in case. Right. right. Um, I, you're Chris. Well, I'm, I'm trying this to get uh, Ryan, uh, Ryan and Scarlett to actually adopt me, because I'm just I'm just like a Canadian here on work visas and stuff. So oh, they adopted no. me. We, can, you can adopt an adult, actually. Did you know that? I did not know that. <laughs> Why are you looking at the cup now? You've been no, here all sorry. damn night, what? and now the, now the cup's are Were you trying to show it to me? Sure. Oh, no, it's lovely. <laughs> Sorry. Um, this, anyway. Um, hey, we're completely you, out of time. How do you say goodnight in, in Canadian? Uh, yeah, how do you say goodnight how in Canadian, Chris? Goodnight. Goodnight. <laughs>